I've always wanted to go to Paris and July this year I was finally able to go. We went for four nights and one of my favourite favourite things about going on holiday is literally just the packing. I love prepping outfits in advance and being as minimal as possible with my outfits and knowing exactly what I'm going to wear when I get there. Mix matching everything and just being like really really economical with what I pack. So here is what I wore for those five days. So on the first night we had plans to go to a gig and then we were gonna go out after. So I kind of wanted to pack a practical but cute outfit. So I went with this white shirt dress from Monkey and then this red jumper from my other stories that I literally wear all the time. I love it. It's mohair, definitely doesn't really suit the summer, but I just love it so much. I find it really versatile. And I just put my green tail file bag on top of it, which does it look a bit Christmassy? Maybe, but I kind of just wear this bag with everything as well. So that's why I chose that. And then I wore my new balance and I'm kind of annoyed that I had to wear these grey socks, not gonna lie, but we were basically kicked out of the Airbnb the minute we got there and I was stressed. And when you're stressed, you're not thinking about what socks you're wearing. The next day, I decided to re-wear the white dress with this green, I don't know what it's called, like a long line, sleeveless, jackety vest thing. It's from Cos. I bought it a few weeks before I went on holiday. And I just, I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I've tried it on with like everything in my wardrobe and it matches everything so well. So I know it was a really good purchase. And this dress, um, did I get kebab stains on it the night before? Yes. But the good thing with this jacket is that it's so versatile. You can wear it as a jacket, as a dress. You can use it to cover up kebab stains. It's so good. And today we were kind of just going for a wander around the local area, having a bit of a shop. So I brought this tote bag with me. And I thought I was choosing a pair of comfortable shoes when I put these Boston Birkenstocks on, but... My feet were actually knackered by the end of the day, I'm not gonna lie. But they look cute. But yeah, it was good outfit overall, but not the comfiest full day of walking. That evening we went out for dinner and with all my outfits you'll probably see like me doing like a day to night switch. So my day look will be really similar to my night look, which is the case with this. Like I basically wore like a really similar outfit to what I wore in the day. It's just the same jacket, but I wore it with a belt tied around my waist. So it looks more like a dress. And I kind of wore it with a crop top and some cycling shorts underneath because I know it's not a dress, like the slit is far too big at the front and the armpit holes are really big. But I think it looks good as a dress. I put my towel far back on because it's literally the same colour as it. And I wore my favourite ever shoes, my little yellow shoes from this brand called, I think it's called Nomase and it's they're made in France, little yellow loafers. You can't really see the colour very much because they're the shot is very overexposed but I tried to get more shots of the shoes later in this video so you can kind of see them but yeah this is like my bougie going out for dinner look this was our fanciest dinner of the weekend as well so she dressed up the next day was the hottest day of the weekend again it was a proper like mooch about day we had lots of touristy things planned I want to say like we went to Eiffel Tower we went to some galleries we did a lot of things this day so we put the trainers on I wasn't gonna be fooled by those Birkin socks again and I'm wearing the crop top I was wearing underneath that cos jacket, which is actually just from weekday. And this skirt I'm wearing is from a charity shop. It's like a satin, I want to say like nighty lounge lingerie skirt, petticoat. I don't know. It's definitely not meant to be worn outdoors because you can see it's very see-through. And I wore it with white boxes underneath. But I do just love the skirt. I wear it all the time. I just love it. It's so floaty and cute. And again, with the end of a story, socks. The, um... Headscarf I'm wearing is from a charity shop as well. It's like this dark blue with cream pattern on it. I really, really like it. I really did want to wear it tied underneath my chin as opposed to the back of my head, but I didn't want to do it in Paris because it would look like I was trying to be really Parisian or I don't know. So I had to veto that option, which is kind of a shame. I don't think I mentioned the sunglasses. I basically wore them every day, but they're also from And Other Stories. I feel like I'm saying everything I own is from a brand that's owned by H&M, which is an issue that I know of, and I'm trying to rectify my wardrobe. This next outfit, again, day to night, I'm wearing the same top as I wore during the day, and I'm wearing these Cos jeans, which, honestly, just my favourite jeans. I mean, they're like one of my only three pairs of jeans, but these are the ones I wear all the time. The perfect shade of blue, I find them very flattering, the fit's really good, and I wore them again with my yellow shoes, 
some overexposed shots of my yellow shoes. Here we go. So we went out to um, some bars and stuff. Probably not usually a shoe I take if we're going to like a sticky bar. So I was a little bit nervous about getting my shoes ruined, but it was fine. So this was our last full day. We decided to go to a park in the morning. So I'm wearing this tote bag with this cute little white blouse from Depop, but the brand was originally H&M. Well, it still is H&M to be fair. And then this dress is also from Depop. Both clothing items are a bit too big for me, but I kind of just wear them quite loosely and baggy and it seems to work in my opinion. I don't think they look too big for me, but I could be wrong. And then I went for the Birkenstocks again and some socks. We weren't really planning on doing any mad walking this day, so I thought the Birkenstocks would be safe. And here it changes to a pink bag because basically midway through the day we came back, got changed because we were going out to do a wine tasting. So I wanted to look a bit fancy. So for the evening look, I really don't like this outfit. This is definitely the worst outfit of the holiday, in my opinion. I just think the contrast between the black top and the white trainers is just too stark. And then the crop of the black top isn't cropped enough, so it kind of looks a bit weird with the dress. Yeah, overall, I'm just not really feeling it. We just went for dinner and some drinks, the same as every night, although we actually went to see the Eiffel Tower light show this evening, which is really, really lovely. Shame I wasn't wearing a cute outfit. This was our last day, so I wasn't really trying to pull a fit or anything. I just chucked on some clothes I'd already worn. Well, actually, I hadn't worn that white t-shirt at all. But yeah, other than that, it's just clothes you've already seen. I hope you like what I wore. Goodbye, Paris. It was lovely.